Hello friends! Hope that you had a splendid week and feeling hungry for news. So let's see what is new in power semiconductors industry. Toshiba has launched a new silicon carbide MOSFET module, integrated newly developed dual channel SIG MOSFET chips with ratings of 3.3 kV and 800 amps for industrial applications. Volume production will start this May. To achieve a channel temperature of 175 degrees, the new product adopts an IXPLV package with silver sintering internal bonding technology and high mounting compatibility. The new model meets the needs for high-efficiency compact equipment for industrial applications, such as converters and inverters for railway vehicles and renewable energy power generation systems. Nexperia, the expert in essential semiconductors, has confirmed that it will be making significant additional global investments in manufacturing capacity and research and development during 2021. The new investments are in line with a growth strategy that last year saw WinTech Technology, Nexperia's parent company, commit 1.85 billion US dollars to building a new 300 mm 12-inch power semiconductor wafer fab in Linyan, Shanghai. This factory, which will go live in 2022, will have an estimated annual output of 400,000 wafers. Nexperia's plans for this year include improving production efficiency and implementing new 200mm technologies at its European wafer fabs in Hamburg in Germany and Manchester in the United Kingdom. In Hamburg there will be additional investment in new technology for wideband gap semiconductor manufacturing. On Semiconductor, a chip maker scrambling to meet the high demand for automotive components expects to relieve the bottleneck in auto chip production by the second half of the year at the latest. In an interview with CNBC's Jim Cramer, On Semiconductor CEO said that the company is experiencing a rush in orders for its products amid an industry wide shortage in chips. There is the shortage, which began when demand for electronic products such as computers surged during the pandemic, has forced car makers, including General Motors and Ford, to cut back on manufacturing some vehicles. Subsidiary Densa Malaysia said the expansion had been approved by the Malaysian Investment Development Authority and construction work at its site in Selangor was now scheduled to start in April. Densa, with Toyota Motor Corporation as its largest shareholder, already produces engine and airbag control units in Malaysia, along with the air conditioning systems, radiators and electric power steering systems, among other parts. Densa Malaysia confirmed it would invest in production of ASIG named exposed package automotive semiconductors, which are said to offer great functionality, high heat dissipation, high miniaturization potential and cost reduction. German chipmaker Infineon said it was expanding its production capacity to help address global supply shortages and would be able to meet the needs of its customers in the long term. CEO Reinhard Ploss said Infineon's new plant in Villach, Austria, due to open in late summer, would be capable of producing enough power semiconductors each year to equip the drivetrains of 25 million electric vehicles. President Biden will sign an executive order to assess supply chain vulnerabilities in four areas, including critical minerals and electric vehicle batteries. The order comes as an automotive industry is being racked by a shortage of semiconductor chips, and nearly a year after a lack of personal protective equipment necessary to reduce transmission of COVID-19 exposed weaknesses in the United States supply chains. The White House said in a fact sheet that the order is a means to address climate change and kickstart the economy. The order directs federal agencies to conduct 100-day supply chain reviews of pharmaceuticals, semiconductors, electric vehicle batteries and critical minerals including rare earth. The White House notes that the United States is a leading exporter of EVs but trails other countries in supplying raw material and manufacturing batteries. Earlier this year, Joey Wolf has been appointed as President and Chief Executive Officer of PowerX. He will succeed the outgoing CEO John Hall, who has retired. Joy has been serving as a Vice President and the company's Chief Financial Officer since 2016. Joy joined PowerX as a senior financial analyst in 2008. He steadily progressed in leadership roles during his tenure at the company rising from controller to director of finance to CFO and now CEO. He is the right executive to lead the company during the challenging post-COVID-19 recovery and is proactively pursuing numerous opportunities to solidify PowerX as a premier supplier and trusted industry partner. He is equally committed to personal and professional growth of the highly dedicated PowerX team members. 
to fully understand the characteristics of silicon carbide and why the young contender to silicon has developed into a market worth over 600 million US dollars in 2020, the webcast brings together valuable speakers from one of the most significant companies in silicon carbide, Wallspeed, as well as System Plus Consulting and Yolo Development. The online event will take place in three parts. Dita Elizabeth, Director of Strategic Business Development Automotive at Wallspeed, will elaborate on the company's expertise on silicon carbide substrate and design wins. Amin Alush, Technology and Cost Analyst at System Plus Consulting, will present the SIG device manufacturing challenges and will dive into technology choices of the main silicon carbide manufacturers, examining the technology and cost. Esgi Dagmos, PhD, Team Lead Analyst in Compound Semiconductor and Emerging Substrates in the Power and Wireless Division at Yoli, will analyze the market beginnings of silicon carbide and how it has evolved to address the mature and less expensive silicon market. She will also share her expertise on the automotive market for SIG. Do not miss this powerful webcast on March 4 to get the latest updates on Power Silicon Carbide. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, see you next week. Meanwhile, go to Marketing Psych website for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.